Myself, Dr. Deepak Arya, and today we are talking about liver disorders or cirrhosis or fatty liver in case of dogs and cats. Firstly, we will talk about the symptoms, then we will talk about the factors which causes this problem. Thirdly, we will talk about the precautions, and lastly, we will talk about a bit about the treatment part which we can do on our part. So, uh, although if a dog has faced this problem, then we can save it, we may not be able to save it. But knowledge is always important. If we have knowledge that what are the factors which cause liver problems, what are the symptoms which cause liver disease, then in that case at least you can save your pet from these fatal conditions. So let's go for the video and see that uh, what we can do in case of liver disorders of dogs and cats. Go for it. So now we talk about the symptoms. Firstly, the dog will get lethargic. Yes. He will not show his uh, interest in going out of the home, he will not show interest in playing with you and he will just start lying down at one place without doing anything and just like a saint he will lose his interest from the society and all. Secondly, he will go off feed. He may show gradually decrease in uh, his diet. Primarily, he may be taking 400 grams of food, then 300, then 200, and this happens in 8 to 10 days of time, normally, in normal cases. Thirdly, his gums, his eyes, and his groin region, and uh, his armpits, they will become yellowish. As you see in case of jaundice, in case of humans as well, so his eyeballs will become yellowish, and uh, you will easily come to know that there is some problem going on in the liver. Fourthly, what will happen is that uh, if you notice his tools, then they will turn white. Yes, they will turn white or off yellow, off white, and that's because the bilirubin, which gives color to the stools, that start coming into the body parts, which are which are giving him the yellowish tinge in the body. So either his tool will, will become whitish, or his tools will become. Uh, uh, say uh, dark chocolate colored or uh, dark brown because the blood start oozing out. Fourthly, the uh, next point is that the water start deposition depositing in uh, his belly region because they stand against uh, because we are standing against gravity, but dogs are not standing against gravity. So their belly portion is the easiest or the uh, or the place where water will get stop you know uh, or water retention will take place and uh, water will get uh, uh, accumulated into the belly region or in their legs so uh, this is called ascites and uh, his testicles will get small you know and his libido and his uh, you know is his uh, sexual desires they will come down and he will and if he smells some female even then in that case he will not show interest Obviously, uh, in these cases, his libido will go down. So these are the symptoms, primary symptoms, which you see, then you may suspect that his liver is having some problem. So what are the factors which causes uh, liver problems in dogs? Primarily, over pampering. Yes. What normally we do, we start with overfeeding of our dogs. If he's not taking paneer, Let's give him chicken. If he's not taking chicken, let's give him mutton. If he's not taking mutton, let's give him some processed food. If he's not taking processed food, let's go, let's go for pizza. And the list continues. So this is the main problem. We are giving dogs, we are pampering dogs, and we are just feeding them as per their likes, irrespective of the fact that they are getting fatty. If they accumulate a lot of fat, then in that case, liver has to work hard. And in that case, it may get sluggish and it may lead to the starting of liver problems. Secondly, if your dog is not doing much exercise, if you are not taking for a walk to the park or if he is not running around, then in that case, you know, without exercise, fat burning is not happening and it will again making liver sluggish and may develop many, many problems. Thirdly, over medication. Sometimes we don't ask for vets or we just keep on giving them medicines for fever and all. For example, if your dog is having some fever, 
then you keep on giving paracetamol and other tablets to him continuously for many days and uh, he may get fever, it comes down and it again goes up. It's an example. So instead of consulting your vet, you are continuously giving medicines or you are giving him some Ayurvedic medicines or some other homeopathic or there are a lot of medicines. See, all medicines have some side effect. So if a medicine is not required, then in that case, don't give him medicines. Don't give him unnecessary medications. He has some natural immunity as well. He has some resistance in his body as well. Let that work on his body. So don't over medicate your dogs because mostly the medicines are detoxified from the liver only. And if you are giving over medication to your dogs, then in that case, ultimately you are over pressurizing the liver, which may lead to fatty liver or cirrhosis or other liver problems. Next, excessive dog supplements if you are giving to your dogs. Then uh, again you are uh, in that case over supplementation of uh, feed means uh, you, are, you are giving your dog only dog supplements. Then in that case, see processed food has preservatives in it. If you are giving your dog something which is preserved for 6 months or one year, then Definitely it must be having some kind of at least some kind of preservatives if continuously you give your dogs preservatives Then ultimately what will happen then ultimately it also give extra stress to the liver So that will also result into some liver kind of problems. So uh, you can give Processed food or you can give uh, supplements to your dog, but not on a regular basis if you give it, give it on a regular basis Then you are not a friend of his liver Next point is that uh, if your dog is having, uh, you know, if you are uh, keeping uh, pesticides at your home or uh, you are having some kind of uh, uh, disinfectants at your home and your dog loves that, you know, uh, if for example, if you keep a rat poison at your home and uh, your dog or cat may eat that piece of rat poison or he may eat that rat or he may try to kill that rat with his teeth and indirectly get that poison. So that will also ultimately over pressurizing the liver. It may develop into a small poison or uh, you know it may do, um, uh, slow poison it will it will work like uh, slow poison for your dogs and cats. So. Uh, if you are having a pet at your home, then don't keep pesticides. So what are the precautions which we should take to prevent our dog from getting liver problems? Firstly, he should be given balanced diet. Balanced diet means proper carbs, proteins, fats, rough edges. Everything should be a well-maintained proportion. You can't give too much of fat. Suppose your dog is lacking too much of cheese. It doesn't mean that you just keep on giving him cheese and all. Secondly, proper exercises you should take him for a walk on a daily basis minimum for 15 20 minutes if you are keeping a dog then 15 to 20 minutes walk morning and 15 to 20 minutes in the evening that is necessary for your dog next point is that uh, medication should be leased unless and until antibiotics are required you should not uh, give them um, just if he is having a small uh, if he is having small fever you give him antibiotics so that is not tolerable. So consult your vet first that whether antibiotic is even required or not. Otherwise don't give it. Along with that the preserved food which you are giving to your dog. That preserved food should be you know uh, it should not be given on a regular basis. It, it can be given but uh, mix it with raw veggies or mix it with home cooked food or uh, you can give dog food but not only dog food uh, mix something else in that food as well whatever you are making at home at least you can mix raw veggies so this will make a complete diet for a dog so lastly we'll talk about the treatment part how we can treat our dogs if you are giving your dog a diet which i am talking about means less healthy diet lot of fats and all and if he's getting lethargic and all the symptoms which I've already told to you and his lifestyle is just like that only and you have started seeing the symptoms if it's a primary stage 
then you can correct it yes how you can correct it see firstly you should give him a healthy diet make him exercise regularly give him more of whey water how to make whey water i will just tell you and uh, give him uh, 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 food stuffs which are very easily digestible like uh, fiber biscuits or uh, you can give him uh, chapati you can give even with whole husk and uh, you can give him suji toasts so these are the way which uh, are helpful in curing our dogs or uh, from uh, we can save our dogs life in early stages of liver problems if they start developing and uh, if you think that uh, the problem is increasing or his eyes are getting more and more yellow and his body parts are getting yellow then in that case you should go for the biomedical examinations you should go to your vet and uh, treatment is recommended by vet only so how you can make whey water see firstly take a glass of milk uh, squeeze half lemon in it milk should be lukewarm and uh, after that uh, filter it with a cloth that uh, milk so whatever you will get the filtrate liquid in the glass that is whey water and whatsoever is left in that cloth that is paneer or that is chana so this is the way to make whey water and if you give whey water to your dog is if he is having ascites or water absorbed in in his uh, you know water retention in the tummy and in the legs then if you give him whey water instead of water then in that case his water retention capability will get reduced up and he will feel better obviously so these are the ways by which uh, you can keep your dogs liver healthy especially in the late stages of his life so i hope you enjoyed the video keep supporting us and uh, we will try to give you more knowledge and in a more better way for uh, keeping a pet's life better thank you